Mike Peden here with Becky Hammond of the San Antonio Silver Stars. R rookie in 1999, and she has played in every season since then. Well, first, congratulations on your All-Star appearance earlier in July. Thank you. And what did it mean to uh, make that All-Star appearance at your home court? I know you blogged about your first appearance with New York in 03. So what does it mean to have that hometown fan base there to support you? Well, I think it's always extra special when you're the hometown girl. And uh, I thought San Antonio did a great job coming out, um, seeing the girls in action. And, uh, you know, we have the best women's basketball players in the world. So to get them all on one court, it's a, it's a special game and a really special moment for me personally. Now, you've played in all but two seasons of the league. And so what do you think has changed from your first season in 1999 to 2011? It's certainly more physical. It's a faster game. Um, you know, the players that come in, they just get bigger, stronger, faster, which is really good for our game. I think the game has gotten much better. The product has gotten better. So, um, you know, I'm really excited about the direction that the league's heading and uh, really excited about the young girls coming up through. Um, there's some really talented girls out there. So, you know, hopefully they'll learn the ropes, how to be good professionals and, you know, carry it on to the next 15 years. And one of the challenges, of course, for playing as long as you have is staying legitimate for lack of a better word so how have you developed your game over the years to ensure that you can still maintain it, your competitiveness against the younger draft classes that come in year after year I think there's no substitution for experience so I try to come in and just um, use my experience use my brains the, the situations that I've been in you've been in a when you've played for as long as I have I mean you've been in a lot of timeout after timeout situations you've been out you know end of game situations you've been in a lot of different experiences um, so uh, back from 1999 till now, I, you know, I think probably the greatest asset I have has always been my head and thinking the game. So that's what I continue to use and, um, you know, just to, taking care of your body and making sure you're eating and doing the right things off the court that will help you uh, produce on. And uh, what have you noticed, I guess, joining the league in 99, where players or fans or just spectators who would come after the league and say, this isn't going to last, you know, the players aren't that good. What are some things that maybe you've heard that you could go to those folks now 15 years later and say, hey, think again? <laughs> well, I think uh, there's a lot of ignorance about the, out there about our league. And um, I think a lot of people that kind of hate on the league have never even been to a game. They've never watched it. They just kind of, that's what so-and-so said on ESPN. And so that's what they believe or whatever. So, um, you know, we just come out here and we compete. And uh, if you like our game, great. If you don't, um, you don't have to come. But uh, we've, we've shown a lot of longevity and, um, you know, like I said, the product keeps getting better and better, which is always good when your product is better. So, perhaps your biggest surprises uh, from that you've seen over the years, uh, I guess, in terms of the, how the play has developed or how have you developed? Uh, no, I mean, like I said, they're just bigger, faster, stronger. You got people like Candace Parker, who's, you know, six four and can dribble up and down the court like a point guard. Um, you know, guards like Maya Moore, who are just big, strong, physical presence. Um, you know, the average height in the league has probably gone up, you know, three or four inches since the beginning. So, um, like I said, you got you got bigger people playing bigger, you know, multiple positions. So, um, it's in good hands. And as you have a point, you mentioned before the season, you had mentioned that San Antonio, people thought they were going to stink. That hasn't happened, and there's still half a season left. But in your case, you talked about how the players are getting taller and things like that. What do you think you've brought to San Antonio now that you've had a few years to adjust? Um, you know, just a presence. Uh, you know, like I said, my experience and my leadership and just they've already put a lot of great pieces together. So I was just coming in and, and doing what was asked of me. And San Antonio has obviously responded very well as, as our team. So we just want to keep moving in the right direction. And last question. Anyone you want to say hi to or any tips you want to give to fans who might be watching? Nah, dream big and uh, work hard. That's it. Thank you, Becky Hammond, and uh, good luck today. Thank you.